Hello, I am Bo Grzeski. Today we'll be exploring Verso Learning. It's an app and a website that could be used for inquiry and providing student anonymity. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell and enable notifications for our channel by clicking our logo during the video. Also, leave us a comment or check out our related videos by clicking the pop-up cards in the upper right hand corner. Without further ado, we have a very special guest star, Miss Jeannie Daly for this episode the middle high school learning specialist for social studies showing us how she uses Verso Learning. Let's check out what Jeannie has to say about Verso. Good morning, everyone. Um, if you are listening to this screencast, you have expressed some sort of interest or curiosity about um, Verso. And Verso is one of my favorite tools for engaging kids in a conversation about an academic topic that um, the teacher feels uh, it's important um, to assign. So anyway, I'm going to take you on a quick tour of Verso, talk a little bit about the features. My name is Jeannie Daly, in case you don't know me. I am the Social Studies Learning Specialist for the district. And um, uh, I, we have used Verso in the middle school and social studies for a number of years now. And it's just a great tool for uh, collaboration. So I am going to log in. Uh, if you are interested in, um, in using Verso, uh, I can do a, a separate screencast that will uh, show you exactly how to sign up and um, add some of the information that will uh, tie you to the greatest number of people and resources inside Verso. So anyway, I'm going to log in. And this is what you'll see is the home screen. Um, and um, all of your options reside um, off of this left-hand side. Uh, I'm going to share with you some of the uh, some of the things that um, you'll be using. Uh, you'll want to create a class, and I'm not sure. Um, Ah, there you go. You click on that button and you create a class. If you want to join a class, then you will use the um, the code that's generated when you create a class. Um, uh, you'll uh, simply have students um, put that code in and um, and they're part of the class. And so uh, that's the very first thing that you do is is create that class. But once in, I'll just share with you, these are the classes that I've created. And so, um, you know, if I want to, um, uh, if I want to put a lesson in uh, these classes, let's say I want to share with, uh, the learning specialist, a lesson that I think is uh, really cool, then I can add it to that class. Um, but mostly I'm going to play around, probably mostly I'm going to play around with what's already in the library. And if you um, if you join us in the Verso community, you'll see that there's a tremendous amount of material already there. And so one of the first things that I would do is just see what's out there before I made a decision to create my own activity. So um, let's just, uh, sh you know, you can take a look at, um, you know, some of the topics that are available in this library. Um, it, this is not just a social studies tool. It is a tool for thinking. And that's one of the things I want to encourage you to, to um, explore is uh, the opportunity that we that that we have through Verso to really exchange ideas, uh, particularly um, students who may not be willing to share in a class because uh, they're afraid of making a mistake or they're uncertain about a topic or, you know, whatever is keeping them from. Uh, finding their voice. And so this tool allows them to um, to talk to each other uh, in a fashion that um, I think helps promote their thinking and their, their growth. Uh, so I'm just going to click on U.S. History because at heart I am a U.S. History teacher. And I see all the lessons that are available to me. This is their global library. These are all lessons that are available to me uh, right here. Uh, and um, uh, Verso has taken all of the lessons or most of the lessons from reading like a historian out of the Stanford education group um, and placed them in here. So if I am 
if I want to talk, uh, work on periodization with my students, here's a lesson right here that might uh, be uh, useful uh, for me as a classroom teacher. And so let me just click on one just as, a, as an example. Here's one um, that focuses on contextualization, and these are um, and periodization, and this is the lesson that has been created. And uh, when you create your lesson, you'll receive a template that um, will take you through these. You'll identify what your learning objective is. You'll identify how you want students to respond. Um, and then what parameters will be in place when um, students actually do engage in answering that question. Uh, and then um, what we've tried to do in the middle school, and I, I suggest high school uh, students can use uh, uh, sentence starters or model responses uh, uh, just as much as middle school students can. Um, what we've created are some ways in which you can get students to start the conversation uh, and answer the prompt um, in a, in an academic way and in a correct way too. Uh, and then there's a place in the template that you can identify the contextual vocabulary, the tier three vocabulary uh, that students should have in a response. And then some of the academic vocabulary that students um, should include in the response. Uh, we always recommend, you know, that uh, um, particularly with the academic vocabulary that, uh, you know, they, they focus on, um, if they're not a skilled writer, they focus on, um, you know, use of four or five of the academic terms that are listed there. That would, that would be great. And then you copy the activity and then you place that activity in one of your classes. Um, you know, I'm going to place this activity in high school learning specialists. You know, you would have, if you have four classes, three classes, you would give those classes a name um and you would um, place that in that class and so students uh, will have joined your class because you gave them that unique uh, code and um once they access that class they will have that activity right there and so i copy it and you see right over here the activity is copied um i am going to attempt to show you uh what response <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, or reply to one of our other videos, or share the playlist below. Subscribe to our channel and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on the next episode. Don't forget to check out our other resources like this cast podcast and see what else is going on in Horry County Schools. Be sure to follow at Dear Disses on social media or contact us via email or our blog.